What's up you guys, this is Optic from Team Optimal, and today we'll be opening one of the most competitive structure decks that Konami has put out, uh, structure deck, the Albas Strike. So I'm really, I was really hyped for this structure deck, it's going to make Fusion one of the most competitive decks for this format, especially once you combine it with the Despia engine or the Adventure package. So let's get right away to it and let's open this little bad boy up. Oh, and by the way, this is going to be my first ever YouTube video, so I'm kind of recording this off my iPhone. So hopefully the quality is good, and I'm hoping... Uh, I don't know, I'm just hoping this YouTube career actually takes off. Well, not a career, I guess it's more going to be a hobby. And I can actually open up more cool stuff for you guys. So okay, let's check out this playmat right here. So, and oh my gosh, this playmat is so awesome. It has the two new fusion monsters for this structure deck. And on the back, let's see. It showcases some of the combos that you can use for this deck. And then also, these are some of the tokens that are gonna be in the structure deck. And they have actually have some lore that continues on with um, Ecclesia, I believe, from the Dogmatica deck. And here are some, oh, there we go. There's some right there. You can also see some support cards that will help you improve this structure deck even further. These two would be the most competitively viable. Uh, not too sure about the Fusion Factory. Sword Souls, yes. Um, that might be interesting. Alright, so let's get into the structure deck here. Oh, and big shout out to one of my best friends who actually ended up buying this structure deck for me. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thanks a lot to my friend Sebastian. Uh, hopefully you're watching this video see oh my gosh i hit out these are always so hard to open up okay Ooh, i'm scared i'm gonna damage the cards let's see okay give me a second i'll be right back oh my gosh i'm so dumb okay there was this little little flap right here that you can open up all right okay so let's start off with some of the new cards we have tri brigade mercurier Spray gun kit. Okay. We have the golden sword souls. And here we go. The newest card. Mirror Jade Ice Blade Dragon. And also Lubalion the Searing Dragon. You literally need to run like two copies of each of these cards. And then here, the best card in the entire deck. Branded Fusion. This card was literally going to break... The, the freaking format and especially if you combine it with um destruction phoenix oh my gosh this deck is going to be bonkers totally nuts so then we got branded soul we got branded retribution and it's so great they included this um fallen albaz so for people that are looking to play a budget version and can't afford the secret or ultra rare version but i believe the ultra rare version is cheaper now thanks to the ghost in the past was it Ghost in the Past? Maybe. Maybe it might be Ghost in the Past. If I'm remembering that correctly. So now we have Lubelion, the Shrouded Dragon. And Dogmatica, Fleur, Fleur de Lis, the Knighted. And then, oh, we have a Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon. This is a great reprint right here. And we also have some Kaijus. Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. Ooh, and Chaos Dragon Levineer. This is a really great reprint. And then we have some more Kaijus. Artifact Scythe, another great reprint. Good on Konami. And then, ooh, these are, have always been my favorite dragons. I remember one of the structure decks I got as a kid was the, I think it was the Chaos Dragon structure deck where you got like the two bigger versions of these of these guys. Starleash Seraph. Keeper of Dragon Magic. Nice that it finally got a reprint. I think it was only available in the, I think it was the Golden Sarcophagus tins. Now we got Summoner Monk. Ooh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Another great reprint and Effect Veil are some nice hand traps. And, oh, and it's also nice to see that this card finally got a reprint, Omni Dragon, because this card was pretty expensive. I remember it being 30 bucks and it was really important for Synchro Dragon strategies. So but then we got Branded Lost, Branded and White, Branded Bond, Fusion Gate, 
fusion recycling factory. Oh, sorry, fusion <laughs> recycling plant. Ugh, gosh, English is such so hard for me today. Fusion substitution, golden sarcophagus, pot of extravagance, nice. And call by the grave. Damn, this structure deck has a bunch of great reprints in it. And ooh, Dark Ruler no more. Screams of the Branded. Judgment of the Branded. Necrofusion. Back to the front. Warning point. There can only be one. And Dimension Barrier. Oh my gosh, I remember this card. Oh, this card was so great. Hopefully they come up with a new version where it would say, declare one monster one monster card type and I, it's Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Disease, Pendulum, and also if it included Link monsters, oh, they should make like an update on this card. That would be so nutty. Okay, Waking the Dragon. And we also have some great reprints for some of the newer, well, not new, Basically, some of the older Albas fusion monsters, such as Tindangle the Ash Dragon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna butcher the name out of this. Brygrand the Glory Dragon. Spring the Iron Dash Dragon. Albion the Branded Dragon. And you're gonna need like two copies of this bad boy for the Albas, Albas Despia deck. And then here we have some of the cool token cards that come in the structure deck. We have Albas the Shrouded. Ecclesia the Exile, and if you guys didn't know, you, if you lay these two cards on top of each other, they're literally at the same campfire, which I thought was pretty cool, and how the artwork just goes goes together like that. It reminds me of Pokemon with the, um, the Tag Team Legendary e EX cards, if anyone knows about those, shoutouts to you. Then we have the Tri Brigade. Then we have the Virtuous Vessel. And the Man, the Myth, the legend, a luber. <laughs> Damn, like, uh, and just so you guys know, I do have a mini box. Um, no, not a mini box, a display box for ghosts in the past. So hopefully we can pull some alubers out of that. And I'm hoping you guys are looking forward for me to opening that deck for you, uh, opening up that package for you guys. All right. So that's pretty much it for the Albas structure deck. Overall, there's some really great cards, like especially when they come to the reprints, such as um, Back to the Front, Dark Ruler No More, Called by the Grave, and also just the good um, hand traps that come in it. And great reprints, like such as this card. So yeah, oh, and then also Chaos Love and You. Can't forget the boy. And then Albaz. So overall, this structure deck is going to be very competitive for the meta coming up. And I'm hoping you guys stay tuned and look forward to my future videos. So I'll catch you guys later. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That way you don't miss my upcoming video for Ghosts in the Past 2. I know I'm kind of late to this party, but I promise you guys um, I've bought more sets. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And I know hopefully this, hopefully the audio quality and the video isn't that bad because I am recording this off my phone. And I'm just hoping I can make this YouTube channel grow over the upcoming months because I've already invested so much and I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just so excited. So I guess I'll leave it at that and I'll catch you guys later.